Hi everyone. I wanted to share again uh, some information about how to set up the shared computing, uh, shared folder on our virtual box machines. So first we're gonna go into our settings uh, in our virtual box manager, click on shared folders. We're going to enter the information uh, uh, that for the folder that you would like to share on your virtual machine. For example, I'm currently sharing my desktop folder. Um, so you enter the folder path that's located on your uh, personal computer as the folder path, um, the folder name, I've selected auto mount, and then the mount point for that folder um, will, will be something like this. So the path for that mount point will be home neuro, and I would recommend putting it onto the desktop of our virtual machine and then also giving it a name such as NP or NTP651. Go ahead and click OK. Click OK. And then we're going to start up our virtual machine, log in. And so there's going to be a command that we need to first run to, um, to get this to actually take hold. And I will show you that here and once this machine boots up. Okay. I'm going to open the terminal. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that everyone can see this. So we're going to type the following. We're going to say sudo uh, add user. And row box SF box SF. Enter. It's going to ask you for a password. So we're going to type in the 651 as the password. It's going to look like you're not typing anything, but you actually are. Hit enter. I've already done this, so it says the user Neuro is already a member of Vbox SF. Uh, when you do this for the first time, it should say done. And then afterwards, you should be all set. So if now if I go, I'm gonna close the terminal. If I go now to my MP651 folder, you should see that everything that is, um, uh, listed on my desktop is also now available via my virtual machine. And this will be really handy, like I said before, for transferring files um, between uh, your virtual machine and your, um, and your, personal, desk or your personal laptop. Um, if you have any questions or problems with, with this step, please let us know and we're happy to help. Thanks.